and welcome to Wheels Up. I'm Sierra and I'll be your host. I am so excited to take you on an amazing journey brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. While we're on our adventure, see if you can spot Wings, our special airplane friend, in three different places. After our adventure, please join us as we do a very special craft in the Sunrise VX Treehouse. And last, but certainly not least, we will wrap things up with a very fun game of trivia! Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts and let's go on an adventure! Here to kick us off is a special representative from American Airlines. Welcome passengers, I'm American Airlines flight attendant Julian Peterman. Welcome on board our very special flight today with service from the Sunrise Association and American Airlines. Are you ready for a fantastic adventure? Buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hello adventurers. Grab a helmet, headlamp, and climbing gear. We're headed around the world to explore some incredibly cool caves. A cave is a natural hole in the earth that is big enough for a person to enter. So come on, let's check some out. Caves can have just one room or lots of rooms. Caves can have deep or winding tunnels. They can be magical colors. They can even have a restaurant inside or be home to thousands of glowing baby insects. Totally cool. Ready to explore? Buckle your seatbelts and prepare for landing as our American Airlines flight touches down in Salzburg, Austria. Welcome, guten tag. Better grab your coats and gloves. We're about to step inside the largest ice cave in the world. Brr, talk about a cool cave. It is freezing here inside of the Ice Riesenfeld Ice Cave. Its name is hard to say and spell, but fun fact number one, Ice Riesenfeld means world of ice giants. And just look at this glittering palace of cold. It looks like Queen Elsa has been using her icy powers here, just as she did in the Disney movie Frozen. While Elsa's frozen kingdom is pretend, this one is real, and we are visiting it on our adventure today. The 26 mile long cave is in a mountain that's part of the Austrian Alps. It's millions of years old, but the ice only began forming about 1,000 years ago as water came in through cracks in the cave walls and froze because of below zero temperatures. Caves are known to be dark, and this one is no exception. After we hike a mountain and ride a cable car to get to the entrance, we are given lamps to carry as we explore. The scientist who discovered the cave about 145 years ago clearly wasn't afraid of the dark. He went in to explore all on his own. Can you believe it? The cave entrance has a giant door to keep warm air out in the summer months and prevent the ice from melting. Outside of the cave is the most spectacular view of the Alps, one of the most famous mountain ranges in the world. Look how beautiful! Our American Airlines flight is here to take us to another European cave to explore, but this time in a much warmer spot. Capri, Italy, here we come! Benvenuto! Welcome to Capri, an incredibly beautiful island off the southern coast of Italy. The warm weather, rocky cliffs high above small beaches, and the surrounding crystal clear blue-green waters attract thousands of visitors every year. I hear the pasta is pretty good too. But the island is best known for its famous Blue Grotto Sea Cave. Formed over time by explosive waves crashing into the cliff, the cave has been known since ancient times. It's smaller than a football field, but when light passes through the cave's opening, fun fact number two, the water glows electric blue. Let's hop aboard wooden rowboats to tour the gleaming gem while guides wind them through the maze and share the grotto's history. Say goodbye, arrivederci, to Italy as we board our American Airlines flight to check out another legendary site. These next caves are in northwestern Africa and the country of Morocco. Let's go! Welcome! Marhaban to magnificent Morocco. Have you ever heard of Hercules? He is one of the best known figures in ancient Greek mythology. 
Legend says he smashed through Morocco's Atlas Mountains, opening the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Strong guy! Well, the Caves of Hercules in Cape Spartel, Morocco are named for him. Fun fact number three, an opening to the caves is thought to look like the shape of Africa. That's wild! The unique cave complex is almost 1.5 miles. That's more than 26 football fields long and is known for its interesting wildlife, like the gray-headed rare bird called the Kretschmar's bunting and its many species of bats and scorpions. Over thousands of years, underground rivers carved into the limestone rock to form the caves. The Berbers, a group of people native to North Africa, also cut into the natural-made caves, expanding them. Today, when visitors tour the caves, spooky lighting and Berber drumming music sets an eerie tone. Visitors love examining the walls, exploring the amazing maze of tunnels, and the cool-looking rock formations. As the sun sets, the caves glow amazing colors. Whew, this cave exploring is making me hungry. Good thing there's a restaurant. Yes, I said restaurant. In our next cave, which is on the other side of Africa in the country of Kenya. Let's hop on our American Airlines flight to grab a quick bite. Karibuni, Kenya, welcome. Table for one, please. Ali Barber's Cave Restaurant is in Kwali, Kenya. The restaurant is inside of actual caves thought to be up to 180,000 years old. Much of the caves are exactly as they were when they were discovered. Kitchens, bathrooms, and lighting had to be added, of course. Natural holes in the roof open right up to the sky. Diners love stargazing as they view the constellations from their tables, about 30 feet below ground. Dreamy. Now that we've eaten in this amazing cave restaurant, we're moving on. Our American Airlines flight is departing for China, where more magic awaits. Welcome, Huanying, to China. Wow, look at all these spectacular colors inside the reed flute cave in Guilin, China. Fun fact number four, the cave is known as the Palace of Natural Arts. And I can see why. Multicolored lights are used to illuminate the natural formations inside. Look at these beautiful rainbow rocks. The rock formations in the cave are known for looking like mythological creatures and natural images such as vegetables and animals. There is even one that some say looks like the Statue of Liberty. I love that. The stalagmites, which form coming up from the floor of the cave, and stalactites, which grow down from the cave ceiling, are named for what they resemble. The name Reed Flute Cave comes from the reed grass that grows outside of the cave and is used to make flutes in pipes by locals. I had no idea! Remember in the beginning of our adventure when I mentioned that some caves are homes to glowing baby insects? Let's hop on our American Airlines flight to New Zealand to see them! Kiora, welcome to New Zealand. The caves we've been waiting for. New Zealand's ancient Waitomo glowworm caves. Gaze up and it looks like a starry night sky, but surprise, those glowing lights are actually formed by glowworms. And surprise again, glowworms aren't worms at all. They are larvae or baby insects that are bioluminescent. This means that their bodies produce a chemical that causes them to emit a blue green light. Hundreds of thousands of glowworms line the dark walls and ceilings of these cool caves. Unbelievable! For our last cool cave, our American Airlines flight is here to take us back to the U.S., to Hannibal, Missouri, for a special tour of a very inspiring cave. Welcome! Have you ever read the book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? Fun fact number five, author Mark Twain based parts of his book on this cave. The cave was named the Mark Twain Cave after the famous American writer. Readers of all ages love following along as Tom and his friend Becky go into the cave, get lost, and spend days there. But don't worry, we won't get lost because we have our tour guide friend Jessica to guide us. Welcome to the world famous Mark Twain Cave. My name is Jessica and I've been a guide here for about a year and a half. And our cave is so special because we are a maze cave. We have 
260 passageways in our cave. So it'd be really easy to get lost if you didn't have a guide. Right now we're standing at Cascades. This is a beautiful flowstone formation. Flowstone is created when acidic water comes from the ceiling. And then that water dissolves the limestone and it leaves behind that formation. Now flowstone is very slow growing. It only grows about one cubic inch every hundred years. Visitors to our cave love the history. This is the cave that Mark Twain visited and played in when he was a boy and wrote about later. And we have about uh, 250,000 historic signatures. We're now headed to Aladdin's palace. This beautiful section of our cave is named Aladdin's palace because the walls in the back look like the dome of an Arabian tower. It would be easy to imagine that the water in there is quite deep, but really it's only about a foot. Well guys, thank you so much for visiting us at the world famous Mark Twain Cave, where it's 52 degrees every day, making us a truly cool cave. Thanks, Jessica. Did you hear Jessica mention signatures on the cave walls? For over 160 years, people have been writing their names on the walls of the Mark Twain Cave. There are over 250,000 signatures on the walls, including one from Mark Twain himself. Well, I guess you could say that our cool caves adventure is literally in the books. Ha! <laughs> I hope you loved exploring these crazy cool caves as much as I did. Now it's time to hop on our American Airlines flight to the Sunrise Treehouse to make some cool crafts. Fun! See you there! Wow! That was such an incredible adventure! We discovered so much! Did you spot Wings the airplane? Here are the three different times where we spot Wings! Great job! Time to get back on board our flight! Our next stop is crafting in the Sunrise Treehouse! Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm so excited to be doing arts and crafts with you today. Today's video is all about cool caves. So today we are going to make a cave craft and a bat craft. I hope you have fun! Here are the craft supplies that you'll need. Project 1, Blue Grotto Cave. Construction paper, one blue, one tan, one any color. Paper plate, scissors, string, glue, markers, crayons, or colored pencil pencils. Optional paint. Project two, bat. Construction paper, one black, one white. Toilet paper roll, googly eyes or stickers. String, one piece. Scissors, black marker, crayon, or paint. The first craft we are going to make is a blue grotto craft. So first I have some brown paper which is going to be for the cave and then I'm also going to make a boat that's going to go through so that's what I'm using for my yellow paper and the plate is going to be what the craft what the cave is actually on so first we want to decorate the plate to make it look like the water so I'm going to use um, some blue paint sticks and also some glitter glue but you can also use some regular paint or you can use crayons or markers whatever you have so I'm just using this blue and it's actually a metallic color and this is kind of like what it looks like in the blue grotto because if you put anything under the water, like if you put your hand in, it turns like a little bit silver. So I'm also going to use some silver glitter glue to add some silver color into it so that it really looks like it. Okay. So now I'm going to add some silver with the silver paint stick. And then I'm also going to add some glitter glue to make it even more sparkly and magical because it's really magical there. It's like spark the water is like sparkly and it's really really cool. And this just gives it some more glitter. Okay. 
Okay, just like this. So that's gonna be for the water. And next we're gonna make the actual cave. So I'm using some brown paper and I'm just gonna use a brown, a darker brown crayon and I'm just gonna add some like lines and shapes to make it look more like a cave. And this is just gonna go on the inside so that it gives it some dimension and it looks like a real cave. Just like this. And then I'm also going to make a boat that's gonna go inside of the cave. So I'm just gonna fold a part of my paper over like this and I'm going to draw the boat. So we want to draw it so that the bottom of the boat is on the folded side of the paper. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line across like that and then a line down here and on the other side. So the bottom of the boat is like this and it's on the folded side of the paper so that when we cut it out, it's still connected on the bottom. Okay, so now I have the boat cut out and this is supposed to be like a rowboat because if you go there, you can actually go in a rowboat through the blue grotto with a guide, which is really cool. So now that I have the boat, I'm going to attach a string to it so that we can actually pull it through the cave. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of string piece of tape, but you can also glue your string inside if you don't have any tape. So I'm just gonna put it in here and just tape it down. Just like that. So then you can actually pull it through. And now I'm also gonna tape the top of it so that it really looks like a rowboat still. So I'm just gonna go like that and tape the top of it. Just like this. So here I have another plate that I colored on earlier so that it's dry. And you wanna make sure that your plate is dry before you glue the cave on. So now I'm just going to fold the piece of paper in just a little bit so that we can actually glue it on our plate. So I'm just gonna take a glue stick and I'm gonna put some glue here. And then I'm going to go like this and just glue it right onto the paper. And you wanna do it like this so that it forms an arch, like a real cave. So now that I have my cave, I'm going to put my rowboat inside. And if you pull the string from the other side, you have to be really careful so that the boat doesn't fall down. But if you pull it through, it looks like the rowboat is coming through the cave. And you wanna make sure that the bottom of the boat is really flat so that it can stand up straight. You can also just glue it inside if you want. You don't have to put the string on, but if you do, it looks like it's really coming through. Just like that. And if you want, you can also add people inside of your boat. You can make it like you're going through the cave yourself however you want to make it. You can also decorate the outside of your cave if you want. 
You can add some more things to the water. You can decorate the boat, however you want to make your cave. So the second craft you're going to make is a bat craft and I'm using a toilet paper roll but you can also use a paper towel roll and cut it in half or you can just take some black paper and roll it so that it looks like this. And then I'm also going to use some black paper for the wings and some white paper for the teeth and then I also have some eye stickers but you can also just cut out some eyes or draw them on if you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the bat's wings. So I kind of sketched out what it's gonna look like already. I'll draw it in some white crayon so you can see it a little bit better. So first, I'm just gonna draw a curved line like this up to the top of my paper, and then a curved line down to the bottom. And then it's gonna go up like this, and again, and then one more time. It's gonna kinda have like two points like that. And now I'm just going to fold my paper in half so that I get both of its wings at the same time. And then I'm just going to cut it out. And the bat's wings are gonna be really big because they have pretty big wings and they fly all throughout caves. So that's why we're making a bat craft because there are a lot of bats in all different caves and it's really cool. But I think they're kind of scary, but sometimes they're cute looking. But their wings are really big, so I guess it can be kind of scary if you see one in a cave. Okay, so now I have both of the wings cut out. And before I glue them on, I'm going to color the toilet paper roll black so that it matches with the wings. So I'm going to use a black paint stick, but you can also use a marker or paint, or you can also just wrap some black paper around it if you want. This is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now my toilet paper roll is all covered and now I'm going to glue the wings on. So I'm just going to take my glue stick and I'm gonna kind of fold this in, just the top of it so that I can glue it on. And I'm gonna put some glue on that folded part. And then I'm just gonna stick it onto the roll. like that. I might need to add a little bit more glue so that it stays. Just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. just like this. And now I'm going to take my black paper again and I'm going to cut out some little ears for my bat. So I'm gonna keep my paper folded and I'm just gonna cut out a little triangle just like this. And I'm going to glue just the bottom of them. And then I'm gonna stick them on the front of the bat Kind of like this, so they're sticking up, so it looks like 3D. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Just 
just like this. And then next, I'm going to add the bat's eye. So I have some eye stickers, but you can also cut out some eyes if you want, or you can draw them on. I just have these stickers, so that's what I'm gonna use. Just like this. And then I'm gonna add some teeth. So I'm using white paper, and I'm gonna fold it so that I get two, and I'm gonna cut out a little triangle, like similar to what I did with the ears. And I'm gonna put them right under like this. And as you can see, my wings kind of are falling off a little bit, so you might want to wait until they're dry. If you want, you can use liquid glue so they stay a little bit better. Just like this. And then, if you want to hang it up, you can use a piece of string. And you can make a little loop on the top of your bat like this, and then you can just tape it to the inside. So if you wanna hang it up somewhere, you could do that. So you can hang it up for Halloween time if you want, or any time of the year, really, if you really like bats. So this is my final bat, and I also added some tape on the wings so that they stay a little bit better. And this is another one I made earlier. So these are two different ones that I made. So you can make them look like either of these ones or you can add, you can even make one, if you wanna make one a little bit smaller, you can even maybe put it in the cave that we made earlier. Or you can add, if you want, you can make the string so that it looks like the bat is flying. And you can even add, you can even decorate the wings if you want to make it fun or however you want to decorate it. I hope you had fun making this cave craft and this bat craft with me. I'll see you next time, bye. Wow, we had so much fun crafting with you today. We're coming in for a landing to our final destination, our exciting trivia game. I'm going to ask you 10 questions about today's adventure. There will be four answers but only one will be correct. Can you figure out the right answer? Let's play! Welcome to Wheels Up Trivia with Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels. Question one. Caves can A, have one room or many, B, be magical colors, C, be home to glowing baby insects, or D, all of the above. Wow, caves sure are cool. Question two, ice rice and wealth means? A, world of ice giants. B, place of natural arts. C, I love Elsa. Or D, are you a good speller? Well, some of those are silly, but ice rice and belt means world of ice giants. Question three. Caves are known to be A. Light B. Dark C. Movie theaters Or D. Amusement parks. Caves are very dark. Question four. Capri is an island off the coast of A. Austria B. China C. Italy Or D. Florida. Italy, and 
and Capri look so beautiful. Question five, Capri is known for its famous blue. A, Grotto. B, Moon. C, Smurf. Or D, Suede Shoes. <laughs> I love these silly answers, but A is correct. Question six, limestone is a type of A, dog. B, surfboard. C, fruit. Or D, rock. Well, it's a rock, but you could probably name a dog limestone. Question seven. Some rock formations in Reed Flute Cave look like A, vegetables. B, animals. C, the Statue of Liberty. Or D, all of the above. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Question eight. Glowworms glow because of A, a chemical their bodies produce. B, neon clothes that they wear. C, flashlights. Or D, reflective vests. Bioluminescence, so cool. Question nine, a famous book by Mark Twain is, A, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. B, Little Women. C, Alice in Wonderland. Or D, Caves Rock. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and it's such a good book. Our final question, number 10. Inside the Mark Twain Cave, people sign there. A, names on the walls. B, letters to friends. C, contracts and agreements. Or D, elbows and hands. Isn't that so neat? All of those names on the walls, even Mark Twain. Thanks for playing trivia with me today on Wheels Up. See you next time. Wow, you did such a great job with trivia today. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Wheels Up. I had so much fun with you today. Did you know that there are so many more Wheels Up adventures available for you to enjoy? Just head to our YouTube channel or download the Sunrise Studios app. Available on your mobile devices, iOS or Android, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. We can't wait to see you on our next flight with Wheels Up. Brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and American Airlines. See you next time. Bye!